starting to get night people. Are you Are you looking at this stage of season for someone to emerge and say, I want this job and they both play well, they both maybe have some bumps? Well, I think uh, they both want this job. And uh, I mean, if Newby hadn't have got hurt the day after Christmas, he'd still be playing. But he got hurt, and then all of a sudden, uh, Farley gets a chance in, and he plays a great game against Carolina, and he shuts out Montreal. How, how can you not give him the start? You, I, I mean, I think early in the season you said ideally they'd play 41 games each, and then something would happen to the playoffs. Do you, do, you, do you want one of them to have identified himself to, to the rest of that room? As by, the, by the season's end, I would. I think it a little bit um, like when we made a trade for Huey a couple of years ago, there was Kolzig and QA and I played them the first 10 games, just uh, alternated, and then eventually uh, Cristobal won the job and he played the last seven games. And and I assume or I'm hoping that something like that is going to take over here and, and it doesn't have to happen anytime soon. I think they're both really competitive guys um, uh, having a friendly competition of who wants to be number one, but it'll happen in the last quarter of the season, I would think. Bruce, with Jordan Stahl playing tonight, how is, not, not just tonight, but big picture playing tonight, how does he change the dynamic of that team? Well, the, the, they've always got one of their big centers on the ice. I mean, they can go to the power play and, and have Malkin and Crosby off, and then they come back with, with Stahl. And, uh, uh, and it seems that when he's been in the lineup in the past against us, if, if uh, Sid or, or Malkin aren't having a good game, Saul's having a great game. And he can be sometimes uh, not having a great game, but the other two guys are having a great game. So it's, it's, it's hard to, to shut down all three of them because they're all three are, are great players. A big game like this and all the build up in the middle of the season, how much is the distraction is that to the next game and the rest of the season? I don't know, we haven't got to the next game yet. But I'll, you know, the next game is against Tampa and I think we're tied with them for division lead so hopefully it's uh, uh, it's not a distraction but we won't know until we get there. Bruce, what's Tom Cody's status for tonight? He's not playing. With all the build up in the, I mean with the HBO and everything we've been talking about now for, for weeks and the build up to this game, do you guys have to keep reminding yourselves it's two points or is it just you have to keep reminding us that it's just two points? In the in the scheme of things, it's it's two points, but I think in the whole thing, it's it's a big thing for hockey. And we, I think, players that have grown up that want the game to grow, all realize this that it's a big game for the sport, and uh, that's why we're hoping the weather cooperates and we get it in, and and all the hype that's been there, they get to see a great game and the potential chance to see uh, for people that were casual viewers or people that didn't look at the game at all, get a chance to see it and say, geez, I might want to watch this sport a little bit longer or get my children involved in that. We understand the whole two points thing, but I think anybody that, like I said, that is the, that understands what we're trying to do or what the NHL is trying to do is build the game up, understands also that it's more than just two points. Do you think that your guys in that room are the type of guys to respond well to kind of that intense pressure? I hope so. We'll soon find out. Bruce, knowing that that is part of this is growing the sport, do you think having this game move to prime time because of the weather might end up being long term something that could be a blessing in disguise? Well, you always hope so. I mean, you're always trying to put a positive spin on something that happens negatively. I mean, um, you know, with the the forecast and even looking at if uh, if it was sunny as it was yesterday when we practiced at that time. That sun was coming out. That ice was melting faster than Frosty the Snowman. I tell you, it was uh, uh, the sun was so bright in that one spot it couldn't freeze the ice. So we're hoping it's a blessing. We're hoping it's not you know something that's you know turned negative negative on us. All right. Thank you. See you tonight.